Two Builders, Two Tools, the world's deadliest and most toxic Minecraft server. 2B2T for short. This Minecraft server in recent times has garnered quite a lot of attention on YouTube. Why? Because it is one of the oldest Minecraft servers, and it happens to have zero rules, which can lead to all sorts of crazy shenanigans. But for whatever reason, the 2B2T comic has not hit the mainstream like the Minecraft server has. I have made it my mission to change this. The 2B2T comic is an amazing depiction of what the 2B2T experience was. Created back in 2011 by The Judge Holden, he also goes by the name Renworks. The comic depicts his exploits on the server, making friends and enemies along the way. The tone of the story is perfectly set in the first two pages. We see our main character in a destroyed landscape. We don't really know what's going on, and neither does he. We are greeted by a well-dressed gentleman asking for some directions. And before he can finish his sentence, he is killed by a shower of arrows. This sends Judge Holden running for cover in a nearby ditch. In two pages, the Judge Holden has imparted that feeling of danger and impermanence that sets the tone for the rest of this series. Every character in this story is based on a real human Judge has encountered while playing 2B2T. As a result, all the characters feel very real and authentic. A side effect of this authenticity is that it shows an utterly uncompromising depiction of the toxic and vile culture that 2B2T is famous for, beyond just the characters, uh, the world as well. And when I say uncompromising, I mean uncompromising. If you are sensitive to uh, bigoted imagery and uh, language, I would suggest giving this one a pass. Moving on. Each character design is based on the Minecraft skin of the real-life individual who the character is based on. This leads to all sorts of wacky characters interacting with each other. The art style Judge has chosen for this comic is something I have personally never seen replicated anywhere else. It's an attempt at realism mixed with a very sketch-like drawing approach. This gives the drawings a sort of hectic, unfinished feeling. Everything is so jagged and scratched. It adds this grimy look to the world which matches that tone set at the beginning of danger and destruction. As the story progresses, you never get the sense that anyone's got it figured out. People do things for the sake of doing things. That's part of what I like about all the characters. They are all self-motivated. They do things because they want to and for no other reason. Minecraft being a self-driven game gives everyone their own goal, and I think that's reflected wonderfully in this comic. You would think the inclusion of respawns after death would ruin the story's tension, but it doesn't. Death, like in Minecraft, is treated as an annoying setback, but not the end. The way tension is maintained through the story has to do with how well we are shown the struggles Judge goes through in achieving each player milestone. So many times Judge dies, or has his hard work destroyed, and yet he still builds. His friends still make groups. He still creates. Every good story has a villain, and for the most part, the comic doesn't really have a bad guy. Usually, the destruction is caused by the world itself, like mobs, or a faceless griefer with no personality. This changes with the introduction of this blue-headed fuck. He has the aura, the presence, the evil, the conniving spirit, one might say, the cruelty. He's a troll. But goddamn, is he not amazing to look at. Like, there's just something hateable about this man. But at the same time, you just want to see more of him. He is by far my favorite part of the comic. After 199 pages, the comic got no proper ending. After a year of drawing, Judge had gotten tired of the project. Despite the lack of an ending, I think it thematically fits. There never was an end goal in mind. It really was about the friends that we made along the way. The destination didn't exist and never mattered. If you enjoyed this video and want to check out the comic for yourself, a link will be provided in the description. If you really enjoyed that comic and want more from Judge Holden, you're in luck because he made a semi-reboot slash sequel to the comic, which is drawn in an entirely different style and is arguably better than the original in many ways, as well as covering more recent topics than 2012, like the FitMC Russia War. A link to that comic will be provided in the description as well. If you want to help financially support Judge, you can check out his Ko-Fi page. Link in the description.